All right, we are. Uh, I'm filming this in the mirror because I'm. I've got the 35 millimeter on here, and I can't point it towards my face. So I'm gonna deal with the hipster shot for a second. We're headed out for the day. It's a little later. It's like almost 10. Reason being is I've just been editing because I've been trying to keep up on the edit schedule. And there's nothing really to do before 10 a.m. So we're gonna head out another temple in Fukuoka. It's not quite like yesterday. It's the education temple. A lot of students go there before they have to pass a big test. Supposedly there's a lot of really good food there. So we're gonna go check that out. Probably back in Hakata station there's a lot of really good food there there's still like the food carts to check out at night which i don't know that they've really been setting up because it's been really like rainy it's our last full day in fukuoka so we're gonna kick around go see some more stuff probably a less epic journey than yesterday which was absolutely epic and incredible in every sense of the word nonetheless we got stuff to do we got things to eat so we're gonna get out of here checking the upload time two hours and 21 minutes on the hotel wi-fi all right so that's the plan in the streets
Oh, let's see. I think, yeah, so last night I went down to the food carts and it was really busy. I didn't eat in any of them because it was just uh, pretty hype, apparently. Like, every cart basically had a line of people waiting to, to sit at these small, tiny little booths trying to eat. So I just went ahead and went over to Ramen Stadium and I was defeated by ramen last night. I just, uh, I think I just wasn't as hungry as I thought. Like sometimes I kind of like <laughs> force myself to eat just because I know the food's so good and that I'm not going to be here for that long. So I'm like, I got to eat as much as possible. I know that's probably not the smartest way to do things. It's the way I do it regardless. I got a different ramen, a different tonkatsu ramen. It wasn't my favorite. I don't remember which place it was, but it was good. It was just like really rich. And I'm more of a fan of like the spicy ramen and not so much like the like really thick, rich. I don't know how to explain this, but like sometimes you get like a tonkatsu ramen that's just like really, really uh, heavy and like bold flavored. I don't know. It's it wasn't bad. It, it definitely was like good. It just wasn't like what I I like. And I like a lot of them. But anyway, last night I got like halfway through that bowl of ramen. I was like, dude, I am not finishing this. I'm so full. I came back here. I went to sleep. I also had like four pastries yesterday, so I was at Hakata Station, and it's so hard. You walk by these like French pastry shops, and they have like everything you can imagine. So I end up grabbing a few things because I like snacks. We are packed up, and we're ready to go. We are headed out to Nagasaki, which I'm really looking forward to. This is the last major stop on the trip. Uh, we're here for three days, and then we fly back to Tokyo, and we're in Tokyo for like two days, day and a half, um, and then we're out, and we're, then we're back home. Tokyo is whatever. Like I like Tokyo just fine. It's a great place, but exploring these other areas is really just more interesting for me. You know, I've just done Tokyo like so many times and uh, the only reason I'm going there is to see Toshi and have dinner with Toshi really. And you know, I'll hit some of my like normal spots, but uh, I don't plan on getting into too much new stuff in, in Tokyo because I've just been there so many times and there's gonna be a lot more people there. And Fukuoka is still pretty busy. It's a, it's a major, major city, but it just felt like a more manageable experience. And um, Nagasaki, I don't know how that's gonna be. Onomichi, there was like barely anybody around. Nagasaki, we, we will see very shortly. So we got a couple of trains to ride. All the hotels have been nice, like respectively. Like this place is nice. Onomichi was like, <laughs> nice for the area. Um, it was like an older hotel, but whatever. Uh, Nagoya, super nice. This hotel in Nagasaki is supposed to be like real nice. That'll be good. Not that I haven't gotten good sleep, but I'm looking for an even better sleep. All these beds have been pretty hard, and I like a firm bed, but um, I'm just like, I'm just excited. It's like this hotel is connected to the train station. The one in Marriott's connected to the train station. I feel very fortunate that I'm able to stay in these places that are so close to all the things that I want to do. Uh, I'm pretty sore. My legs are absolutely crushed. I mean, it doesn't matter what I do at this point. They're just crushed. Back home, I if I walk 10,000 steps back home, it's because I'm trying to. Uh, on an average day, I usually walk about like 5,000 steps. I'm generally like riding my bike for exercise, so I don't take as many steps as I have here, and it is, it's it's uh, catching up with me. It's like my back hurts, my leg hurts, lugging around a camera and a backpack every day. It's um, it's winning, <laughs> it's, it's beating me into submission. But uh, yeah, just, you know, five more days and then we're back home. So we're gonna enjoy the rest of this time. We're gonna find some more tasty food and 